Hey guys, Jang here from ultimatercom just continuing my build of the associated SC10 4x4 electric short course truck. And here we are looking at bag D. Contents of bag D and this is to build the rear gearbox. I've already got in the previous video, you've already seen that I've finished the front gearbox and that's all assembled with the uh, steering column, steering servos in there and all. So now we're going to work on the rear gearbox. Again, starting with pretty much the same thing as we had up front. And this is just going to get filled up with those nice uh, 32 pitch gears, including using one of these gear diffs that came pre-assembled. There you can see it's the exact same thing inside as you had up front. 32 pitch gears, put a light, light, light coating of grease on it, and this will get all closed up. And that's that there, that's pretty much it. You just put together your gearbox, which again, is just like a, a stealth transmission. It's two pieces, uh, very lightweight and compact. You've got your gearbox here, motor mounts down low where it's supposed to go. And then you've got your rear lower chassis piece, which just attaches in from the bottom. Very, very straightforward. Now we move on to doing some shock towers. Check out this little baggy. No, literally it's bag E. Front shock tower, body posts, and a little bit of hardware to keep it all together. These shock mounts are pretty interesting. Check that out. That's all one piece right there. And that's just going to go right through, right through a hole. And it kind of keys in place, kind of locks with the hex there. And then from the other side, you just put on a four millimeter lock nut that holds that all in place, giving you a nice smooth area to mount your shock up here. I'm sure there'll be a bushing there and uh, this makes it easy to take off. It's just one screw or one uh, nut from one side. You just move the entire assembly rather than taking your shock off and then having to move this thing around. Here's another cool little thing involving the shock tower. They actually give you these little metal threaded inserts that go in from underneath these just snap in place. Get that in there properly. And into those will thread from the top your inner ball studs, your inner camber link ball studs. And there's that whole front shock tower assembled on there. Uh, it actually got a little bit better with these vertical ball studs because they go through the plastic of the shock tower, then they go through those metal uh, threaded inserts then that actually goes into the plastic of the lower uh, front chassis. So it's actually pinching the whole thing together. Then you got four screws coming in directly from the front and that whole assembly is firm. I mean, it feels like, it feels like one piece, seriously. Everything being keyed together plus the very strategic placement of a minimal amount of strong hardware. That is not moving one thousandth. I mean, that is really an amazingly strong structure there. Very 3D, very thoroughly designed. Okay, bag F, F yeah. This is actually going to be the rear shock tower here. And it's a somewhat of a similar setup to the front. There's the pieces. And just like that, got my rear shock tower set up, all assembled, and ready to move on to the next step. Next step is going to be assembling some front suspension.